Hi, I came to share my story today of my dad's clock repair shop that was at 703 West Beverly Street. Dad, <clears throat> excuse me, dad got into the clock repair business by tinkering with a friend of his whose name I believe was Hunter Baber and he had a clock repair shop on Beverly Street and he eventually moved his shop back to his home so then dad decided to open his own clock shop within our home in one of the little small back rooms and it eventually grew into the house next door to us at 701 West Beverly and dad had his clock shop there from around the early 70s until 1995 when he passed and when he passed there were six clocks left to be repaired and a gentleman, Mr. Bob Liskey, who worked at Palmer Jewelers over at Terry Court, and then worked at Crown Jewelers on, also on West Beverly, came and fixed those remaining six clocks for us to return to the customers. <clears throat> and mom was able to return all but one, and we assumed that the family had passed on and forgot that we had them. And then Mr. Liskey also organized and orchestrated the sale of Dad's remaining tools and items and sold them to the gentleman, I believe his name is Dean, at Once Upon a Time Clock Shop, which is also on West Beverly Street. And so now much of what was at our place is now at the Once Upon a Time Clock Shop. So even though Dad's no longer around and the clock shop isn't, everything is still on West Beverly. <laughs> and. Um, at first it meant a lot of annoyances to me, especially at noon time when all the clocks started going off at, at the same time. But it ended up being a teaching place for me to learn how to do like odd jobs and how to have more responsibility and how to learn patience with all the, the little clock parts and different things like that. And I learned one of the things dad taught was thank you was often payment enough. And that was pretty special. 